scenes. Mm. Is now a good time to tell you guys it's my last day in Australia? Forgive me in advance that I'm so tired. I'm just at my dad's and I'm leaving this afternoon and I'm so excited and I've been waiting to tell you all and now that it's finally happening, I can tell you guys. By the time you see this vlog though, my plan is to cut it on the plane, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna sleep the whole time. Excuse the noise, my dad's doing some work out the back. Uh, my plan is to sleep the whole flight, but let's see. By the time you see this vlog, I'll already be in Bengaluru and I'm so excited. Probably doesn't seem I'm that excited because I'm tired. <laughs> It's been a big week. They are remediating the concrete slab in the apartment that I live in. So I thought they'll do it while I'm away. So I had to actually pack up my whole apartment and everything's in storage. And then it took a little bit for the visa to come through, but we are finally on. Oh. I'm all packed, which is nice because I uh, went to Mardi Gras last night, which was so fun. Dance a little bit. Well, I say, Okay, it's gonna look like I haven't packed, but I just chucked a whole heap of stuff on the bed. Ready. But I'm packed. This counts as packed, even though I've got some stuff there, some stuff there, some stuff there, and some stuff there. Packed. I have my books for the plane, The Paper Palace. This is our book club book this week. And I also wanna reread The Alchemist. Sophie is also coming. I sleep with Sophie every night because I'm like five years old. I obviously bought a super cute fit for the plane. So it's this cute little knit and there's like these super cool wide leg pants that go with it. Like how cute is that gonna be? Okay, I also realized some of you would have seen this Sydney Thunder bag and been like, what is that? Well, I'm gonna show you. So I am super blessed. My coach gave me these. And I'm taking them because I don't want to wear anyone else's. I'm not taking my cricket kit to India. I'm going to miss my butt so much. Uh, and I, technically, I think I can take it because I have a lot of luggage allowance. But I still think I'll go way over if I take my cricket kit. But I don't want to bowl um, or bat in anyone else's shoes. To be fair, these spikes are kind of for batting. But my cricket coach gave me these. And they're so sick. Look at, look at these, they're like Costo. So I'm very lucky and I cannot wait to wear them because surely I will get to do some batting and bowling in India. I'm packed, but you know when you're packed and then you really want to find something, like my favorite moisturizer, I want to take it on the flight, but I have no idea where it is. And I like don't want to unpack all of the stuff. Also, you know when you're going somewhere for like however many weeks, and I'm just like, what do you even take? How do you know what to take? I've got all these clothes and I'm literally, I'm going to live in the same three pieces of clothing the whole time. Like, why do we live like that? <laughs> oh gosh. How do you make this work? Just need some foot involvement. Hmm. Be right back. Guys, finally in the Uber on the way to the airport. It's about a 50 minute drive and we will be there soon. And the poor Uber driver, I thought I might have forgot my laptop so we had to stop and check so I could open my suitcase to make sure I had it. Whoops. We made it into the airport and I am off to the lounge and I'm so hungry and I would love a coffee so I'm keen. And it was so easy to get through immigration. There is no one here today. Quite odd. I also really need a chemist and I need to change some money to rupee but I can't see either of those things in here. Oh yes, I can see the money one. The men in um, immigration because I have my bear. They were like, is this for bear? And I was like, yeah, I'm a child. Mm. Is 
scoop brat. I was like, can I have a coffee? And then I realized it was champagne. Anyone else go to the buffet and just pick like the most random food you could eat? Uh, ooh, mood lighting. I'm a little bit scared. Traveling around the world alone is a little bit scary. But I just keep telling myself, sub kuch tiko jayega. Since I know how much you guys love watching me eat. Snap, he's going off today. Guys, we made it. It's got all my stuff down there. I don't know what this is. What is that? Oh, headphones. We're gonna take off soon. First leg, Sydney to Singapore. Let's go. We just took off. I'm also watching Don't Worry Darling. I've never actually seen this. But now I know what I'm doing for the next four hours. I did my skincare just like I would on a normal night. It's currently 8 p.m. in Sydney. And it says we have three and a half hours to Singapore, so I thought I should get some sleep. But now it's only three and a half hours, so I'm like, should I even sleep? I don't know. I also don't know what this is. Guys made it to the hotel. It's 1.30 a.m. The battery is about to die in this camera, so this is good timing. So we might just leave it there. Oh, no, I'll wake up in the morning and do a little shot out the window. But right now I need some sleep. A very good morning to everyone from Nama Bengaluru. How's my accent? This is the view from my room. So this is home for the next few days. These, there's so many birds just circling and circling. I don't know what kind of birds they are. Maybe osprey or 
Wait, is that the name of a bird? Oh, sorry, I've gone dark, I've gone dark. We're back. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna pop downstairs for breakfast and then get on with my day and start cutting this and expect more YouTubes while I'm here. Thanks for following my journey here. It's gonna be fun. Bye guys.